two weeks ago after admission to the intensive care unit for hemorrhagic stroke, a 54-year-old man regains consciousness. At the time of admission, a CT scan of the head showed evidence of intraparenchymal hemorrhage from ruptured aneurysm. The patient is mechanically ventilated via a tracheostomy tube. Neurologic examination shows quadriplegia, exaggerated deep tendon reflexes, and Babinski sign in both the legs. Response to questions by blinking, but neck, lingual, and other facial movements are lost. The all eye testing shows restricted horizontal movement and preserved vertical movement. I'm sorry. On mental status examination, he is alert and comprehends the physician's questions. The patient's condition is most likely caused by bleeding in a region supplied by which of the following arteries? So, yes, he probably has a stroke. And which of the following arteries are blocked? Is it posterior cerebral, anterior communicating, posterior inferior cerebral, middle cerebral, anterior spinal, or basilar? So the person has quadriplegia, exaggerated deep tendon reflexes, facial movements are lost, but he can blink. So it points to something, right? What kind of stroke does he have? Yep, yep, F. <laughs> so yeah, we go ahead and Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.